All right, uh, greetings everyone. So, um, I'm Tazura, doing this a wonderful game, and with me today is here Del Spectus, uh, who's also actually doing another Duke game, but uh, on like when? Uh, Friday. On Friday, Duke Nukem 3D. So be sure to check that out, and Shadow Warrior, I believe, on stream too. So be sure to check that out as well. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm just gonna start a new run. And as soon as things are ready to go, I'll just smack that button. So this is a good game, so hopefully you're gonna have a good time here. Bonk. So hopefully it started. Yeah, okay. Nice. Alright, so Duke Nukem on Hand Project uh, is kind of a side-scrolling uh, run and gun whatever, uh, which came out in 2002. Uh, considered by many people the last good Duke game. Uh, it was supposed to be just taking a bit extra time for the Duke fans before Duke Nukem Forever comes out. We all know how that went. Oh, whoops, cheating. And uh, the core of this run is you just running and trying to not lose time at all. And given that it is hard difficulty, uh, Enemies deal more damage, take more damage to be killed, and uh, so on and so forth. So, oh come on, how am I hitting that? I'm fat fingering the tilde. Won't be a problem in a bit, because I'm not used to. Okay, okay. It's gonna get shotgun. Things gonna become nice. So one of the main uh, things that you do in the run is uh, you swap weapons all the time which makes you stuck in the animation uh, and that helps with many things uh, like this Squeal like a oh, i don't like that positioning it allows me to rapid shoot my shotgun as well so there is a small skip coming up here i'm just gonna throw a bunch of pipe bombs and they will blow up the barrel on the other side of a fence which normally shouldn't happen but i guess the explosion is just so big that it kind of goes through Oh, come on. How am I missing that jump? Well, anyway, that's the first level. It's kind of an, an introductory. So in every level, you gotta save the babe. You gotta uh, get the key and get out. And some of them are more straightforward. Some some aren't. Uh, so this all starts with a bit of a cycle. So I can take my t sweet time here. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. So essentially, when I'm swapping weapons, I do want to make sure that I'm actually spinning, so I need that very specific animation that you get out of double jump. I don't do windows. Alright, still, still made it fine. Alright, that's kind of okay. Uh, in a way, that game I would describe it as Ninja Gaiden with guns, uh, because. For the most part, uh, it's just a not stopping for as much as possible. Uh, I don't like how she does that. And uh, it consists out of eight chapters, three levels in each. And, uh, there's increasingly more different kinds of enemies. It's a, it's a good game to play for your own if you never did before. Low on health, but that should be fine. Yeah, especially big shout outs to John Say John, who voices do like makes this game ever so more enjoyable. Giving you random quotes all the time. So this section is a bit weird. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Oh come on! Whoops, gotta do this. Now. Wasting my time. You can count amount of times I'm gonna open console by an accident. Didn't I happen a single time in the practice. World, baby. <coughs> God, no, 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 now I'm being extra cautious of not hitting until then. Because it just makes it look bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, so third level in every chapter is a boss level. Something blew up there. And uh, boss. Of first chapter is okay, great. Is really bad boss uh, in terms of speedrunning because it takes a whopping four minutes to beat. 
and there isn't much you can do about it. Uh, that's the only boss that is like this in the game. Luckily for us. There is a very small optimization that saves like... I'm not sure how many, like 6 seconds. But when we're talking about 4 minutes, 6 seconds isn't really all that impressive. So this level is on a timer because at the end... Well, on a cycle, I should draw the same. Because at the end of this section, um, in here, there is that uh, elevator going away. Oh, okay, I should die because I'm not making a cycle. Weird. So you can... do this all day. You can... Br Hello? Alright, I'll just wait. I'm not sure why, but... It should be fine now. Yeah, more or less. Normally you would break that door. Oh, come on! Alright, maybe may third time's the charm. Then you kind of make it before... Yeah, okay. Th that that's what should have happened. I don't know what was that. You thought breaking a thing? Just waiting for this thing to come back. So, um, there are two ways to run this game, obviously, because you can select every level in a menu. Uh, one of that would be ILs, where you just start with 100 health, and well, actually, you can just do max ar max ammo. Uh, and the other, well, is what whatever I'm doing now, uh, the RTA, the full game. And ILs are insanely optimized. Uh, there are practically two runners right now in this game. It's me and Universal. Uh, shout else to him for optimizing the hell out of the game. He's also holding records for easy, uh, hard, and everything. Uh, essentially just beat me to everything there is. Um, yeah, and this is Boss Helicopter, uh, the classic of the video gaming. And... Uh, I am not sure what to talk about it, because it's insanely straightforward. So it has three phases. First phase is kind of very easy, just flies around, shoots Come rockets. Only two and with rapid fire you can kill it in one die. in one cycle. So I'm pretty sure you can kill it in one cycle even without rapid fire. But a small optimization here would be killing it at a very specific place. That should be fine. So now, now I'm just gonna go dropping pigs, and uh, he's, he's gonna be doing that for like two and a half minutes. Um, so yeah, cool, cool boss. Um, essentially, on easy, uh, you need to kill less pigs. So essentially, uh, it ends like a minute and a half faster. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I guess if there is anything to read, Bowie, uh, it's good time. Yeah, 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 sure, of course. I'll, uh, I'll uh, um, update you with some things, I guess, uh, whilst this wonderful boss uh, takes place. Uh, the biggest thing I think right now is that uh, upcoming later today, we have Argic Sonic Mania crowd control run. Um, when we have an incentive for him to wear his cursed costume, if you haven't seen this before, you really... I mean, you don't want to see it, but you really do at the same time. But uh, that incentive is currently $1,660 out of 2000 with 340 off. If you want to make that happen, then uh, you can most certainly do so while supporting a great cause. So, uh, yeah, maybe get your donations in for that and, uh, and, and support the charity as well. It's, uh, it's some good stuff. Um, but, yeah, there are, there are some pretty cool, um, um, I say gifts, prizes that are up for grabs. Our biggest one being our PlayStation 5s. Uh, one for NA, one for EU residents, $100 minimum donation um, to uh, be entered into that. I think I think it's Q cumulus if I believe. Uh, someone will clarify if that's not the case. But uh, yeah, $100 and you'll be in the running for a PS5. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. These guys are adding up quite quite a lot. How many do we get here, Tezzera? <laughs> uh, well, these guys? Around yeah. seven and then seven I'm going to run around. They Some are. of them are on the left side of the screen. Bless them. They're trying. Uh, yeah, they just... Helicopter is also trying to hit me with a turret, but it ca just can't. I'm not supposed... I'm, I don't think you're supposed to, 
but they just kind of miss the fact that you can do that. Hmm. Alright, that one's bouncing. So it's gonna go back now. And once it's go going back forward, I think that's when there is enough big cops piled. So I'm just gonna, once it's out of the screen, probably just gonna start the cleanup. Yeah, that, I think, I think that's correct. Yeah, should drop just one more. So, there are a few things in this game which are kind of important. Getting to 150 health makes it so uh, you get double damage, like just now. Uh, getting to 400 health makes it so you refill your ammo and get another round of double damage. It's gonna be very important all around the run. Third phase is luckily very short. Cutscene is longer than the phase. This is the antagonist, the Morphix. Kind of throwback to Dr. Proton from the original Dukes. But not not exactly. He, he he just shows up in this one game and in no other games. Also nice skybox there. Let's rock. Uh, that was a. So the pipe bombs are kind of RNG. The way Duke throws them is kind of how he feels. It can uh, can throw a low one, a high one, a bit further. So. The optimal way of killing the boss is just two and one, but I had to climb the staircase like twice. So this is the second chapter, and also the shortest one, the Chinatown Chiller. And uh, don't worry, no more bosses are gonna be like this one. The entire chapter is probably like as long as Duke 3D, right? Pigs will fly mm. before Morphix rules the yeah, world kinda. on my watch. This is as far as I can get. Uh... This game, hmm. Looks never like played Morphix is headed for from this. Ming. That place has Chinese mafia written all over it. I hate pigs. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the beginning section here isn't very interesting. It's a new enemy that gets introduced, which are the lizards. With, with the dual guns. They do quite a lot of damage on hard. But other than that... Uh, this game is also kind of like... Weird 3D, not 3D, as you could see, I just threw a pipe bomb like diagonally there. Quite nice. Um, next room, however, is very, very, very tricky. Uh, as it, first of all, it's RNG. There is like a, cars in Chinatown. They move on on a cycle, but that cycle isn't tied to your starting a level, seemingly. I'm not gonna attempt that, <laughs> but uh, seemingly on some other cycle, like a game start cycle, maybe. Maybe I'm just wrong and I'm uh, just uh, pulling that from. Nice. Uh, so that, okay, that didn't hit the barrel, which was the intent. And these are upgraded lizards. So every enemy has three types: uh, normal, uh, upgraded, and like a boss version. Uh, hello. That's weird. And boss versions only start appearing after you've defeated the boss, so the, uh, the big cops, uh, they... Gotta find the exit well, they can start appearing now, but I don't think it will be until chapter 3 that they start appearing. Also, despite killing only mutants, we're just gonna destroy the car here. It's an autopilot, don't worry, no humans were hurt there. Okay, um, it's a long-running section now, so it would be a good time for donation. Of course, yeah, we have a uh, a quick fiver from Kevin70, just says, bring it home, car snacks, and uh, that in particular donation is going towards the Alien, um, alien, alien Isolation All Missions um, run, which uh, basically the runner will do um, the first mission blindfolded, so uh, that uh, donation is going uh, towards that one, so thank you very much indeed. That's uh, just getting started on its way to $1,500, so uh, yeah, thank you very much indeed for that. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of incentives to be met, so make sure to check out the, the uh, site and have a look at those incentives and make sure we meet them to make our runners do more impressive things. 
during their runs this week. Cool, thank you. No worries. Uh, so, another thing I, I will be doing throughout the run every so often, you might have seen, I threw a pipe bomb. Blowing up pipe bombs uh, makes enemies aware of you. Uh, all around, well, not all around the level, but mostly in like in a close proximity to you. I'm gonna wait for that one to pass. And uh, by throwing that one, in, uh, I made two lizards move towards me, otherwise, they would have been uh, just staying on a car and would be a very, you know, in a bad place to kill them. This section is annoying. Uh, didn't kill that one. Ow! Well, health isn't really an issue in this chapter. Um, in later chapters, get, getting more health would be fairly beneficial. Well, here it's kind of not big of a deal. Oof. At least I didn't fall off. That would have been. That's one of the harder triggers to hit after landing. For some reason, it's just very tiny. The trigger for that girl. It's like you, you land. Practically millimeter off, and it just doesn't trigger. Let's see how that guy behaves. How it really behaves. So here, a boss version of a lizard should spawn. But I'm just gonna. Gotta find the exit now. Just gonna pre. It's not. It's not pre-fire, really. It's like anticipate where he's gonna spawn. It's always the same place, though. Burst the frag. Mm -hmm. A dupe just keep posing there casually. So, one of my favorite levels now. Club. Also has a unique music. That music is only used in that level. This is where the first normal boss of the game will take place. That's gonna be quite something. Uh, as you can see on UI, there are things which I currently have zero of. These are nukes, and you can collect them in each level, there is 10 of them. And by doing that, it increases your max ammo, max uh, ego, th that is like your normal ego. Oh wow, what are you doing here? And uh, yeah, that's it. All, all, it increases all types of ammo, uh, health, health, and so on. So if I get over 100 health now, essentially my health will start dropping down until it reaches the 100. If I were to get more nukes, uh, the number would be higher, but it's not fast at all. There is a category which is currently run only as ILs called Hard Max, which involves uh, getting all nukes, killing all enemies, collecting all secrets. Yes, there are secrets in this game, I'm just ignoring 90% of them. Hmm, that's gonna be a bit off. You wanted to fight? Fight! I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, almost. Oh, wait. That's fine. I, I just was slightly short on ammo. Uh, so, that thing you saw there was a shotgun trick. I was supposed to just instantly kill that guy. Uh, it unloads the entire shotgun clip. Uh, so, essentially, you have no ammo after that. Uh, but, it was a bit, just ever so slightly off. So yeah, it's gonna be used practically for bosses only. Uh, you just shoot with a shotgun, kick, and then... Time to deliver max pain on the train. To and then uh, swap weapons. And it just works. So a lot of pipe bomb manips in this one. This is chapter 3, the Metro Mayhem. Uh, that's... No, don't kick the bug, Duke. I'm gonna slide there. Ooh. It's jumping. That's probably gonna mess me up. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. I completely forgot there are bugs there. And uh, if you do manip... Oh, I, I was looking away. Uh, if you do manips correctly, they all kind of gather at the uh, at the barrel that should blow up. Otherwise, they... Uh, didn't blow up the one I wanted to. Otherwise, they just fall into your face and uh, block you, which is annoying. And obviously when you run ILs, you you want uh, things to go as smooth as possible, so any like extra stumble on the enemy, it's a reset. Take that, 
more more annoying group levels that have like a lot of cutscenes. So I have a very good chance of actually reaching 400 health. Not like I need it, but uh, will be appreciated. Oh, I know why, because I kick, killed the enemy with a fit. So this is Glob Gun. Uh, it can go through walls for some reason, uh, so you can do a sequence breaks like this. Only exists in this chapter, uh, and this weapon isn't going to be used at all anymore. What it does, it essentially turns the enemies back into their animal parts. So if you use it on on a pig cop, it turns into a little piggy. If you use it on a lizard, it uh, changes into, well, you guessed it, lizard, the gecko, whatever. And so on and so forth. Eh. Well, I hope I am not getting hit by that train. Alright, that's fine. Now I'm just gonna go into a spinning animation because I need to fall through like a couple, couple vents. And you cannot double jump here, so you cannot... Uh, make yourself get stuck in it in any other place. But uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was actually a pretty good 3-1. That's probably the first level that went fine. Oh no, 2-2 two -two was also good. So this level starts with uh, not insanely tight cycle, but an annoying one, for sure. So I picked up picked up the force field at specific points, so I need to make it to um, to a button right before it expires. If it expires before, I'm kind of screwed and I'll need to be guessing uh, because there is a train that you need to stop in order to like walk on it. I think I'm not making it. Yeah, I'm not making it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait now. It's very annoying to predict. Should be... No, that's not fine. That's fine. Probably. No, it's not. Yeah, that's why timing is important, but I kind of got blocked by enemies. Alright, that's, that's okay. Just casually moving trains here. In, in Manhattan, Metropolis. Metropolis. Why did I say that? more annoying part is that chapters 3 and 4 are kind of both metro themed, except the 4 is a bit more sewer themed as well. It's like a, as if you're playing a very very long chapter. Don't like that. And then you go into the worst chapter after that in the fifth one. Kinda sucks. Yeah, I'm on a really good health as you saw in the beginning of like, you can get a uh, health based uh, double damage and ammo refill only once per level. So you saw, like, when I was killing the first enemies in that level, they both uh, gave me. Uh... Oh come on! Oh, that's. Oh wait, what? I'm surprised. So the floor blo broke, but the barrels didn't. Huh? That's the first. Okay. This is. Okay. Sometimes Duke could just look randomly let go after jumping on a... Not on a pipe, but on whatever that is that I'm holding. Well, I guess it is a pipe. Yeah, those barrels, I don't like them. So the other way of cancelling stumble animation is sliding off, which I've done a few times before. Yeah. This 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 is one of the more boring levels, as it is. Okay, that's fourth one, I believe, at this point. I killed the fourth. <laughs> cheating again. Yeah, actually cheating. So yeah, this section is odd. I don't know why it is designed like that. You're kind of running on a force field, and then you hit that train, which is going backwards, and you cannot do anything with it. It just kind of there. So all you can do here is throw some pipe bombs around. To blow up into enemy's face. So we're gonna use Glob Gun again here. Oh whoops. I don't think anyone died there, but yeah sure. It's not a big deal, it's just 
can't do much. I might as well just pull my bomb. And this is a boss version of Blizzard. That one does a lot of damage because it has Uzis. And even if you kill it, Uzis still do damage. So it's like around 50 damage it does in one shot, technically. If you don't dodge it. Now into a 3-3, the boss level. Also probably the hardest boss I yell level. For multiple reasons. Before I die here. Okay. Never happened, but in a marathon. Could have. Totally could have. So this section in the beginning of this level is a pain. I'm gonna concentrate for that one. So you're supposed to slide under the top ones, but sliding is slightly slower. So I'm jumping, but if I hit the the, the railing, or whatever it's called, the, yeah, like this, I take damage. Quite a big one. I kind of can't afford getting hit twice before dying. I would like to not get hit a single time, to be honest. But uh, times it just happens. And the jumps are fairly tight. So whenever you reset this level in ILs, you always start with that section and at some point your head stuck starts hurting. So important pipe bomb comes up in a second. Gonna make that lizard run to the left. Now I can just jib him. Yeah, I'm actually quite good on health. I can take that blob damage. So Glop is like that, essentially the mutation thingy. Which makes animals into into various other things. I am on a kind of weird health, and I'm tempted to wait till I'm below 150. Because I need double damage to proc on the boss, I cannot afford to take it now. It's gonna take a bit extra damage there. Closer, yeah, a lot of a lot of girls spawn here after you pick up the the key. Uh, the bullets don't go off the screen, so it's kind of unfortunate. You cannot pre-fire enemies until you actually see them on the screen. You can do it with rockets or the pulse cannon is going nowhere fast. which is two weapons we don't have yet no token, no ride. we're gonna get a rocket launcher next level rocket launcher goes a bit far off the screen but uh, it still has a limit before, before it explodes where's where's that guy Shoot a speed in the swamp. all right so i'm just th there is a bit of a Small like optimization for this boss, but I'm just gonna go old strat here because it's not much slower. I'm just gonna pick up that double damage, then kick it twice. It's, it's gonna be enough. I get 400 right. ego, which fully refills my ammo, which is really, really nice for the next uh, chapter. So, how are you finding this run? Would you run it yourself? Uh, maybe. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm learning. So. After this, I'm gonna do a burn record, probably. Yeah, just, just, just do ILs. Oh, wait. The kick didn't do anything. Uh, not really into ILs. I'm gonna go mm. for the four runs. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite a lot into ILs. In, because I'm mostly running Original Doom. It's like my main speed game. Well, I mean, I'm not really running anything fairly often anymore, but in original Doom you just don't run. Doom 1 and 2, you, you run like all the meme wads there are. And uh, generally the way you do is you just run ILs. Because that's mostly what people care for. But yeah, this, is, this speed game is, is chill. It used to be slower without rapid fire. Without rapid fire it was actually four to five minutes slower. Also this is one of those cutscenes where you can move all the time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so 
funny enough, it's one of the original runners of this game was Bonsaw, which you wouldn't expect. Um, yeah, shout out to Bonsaw. Found some skips, I believe the Glob Gun skips were found by him. Or maybe not. There were like a couple runners who did contribute to the game. Mostly it would be, I would say, Universal myself. Just rerouting everything. And well, obviously Kelnan, who found the rapid fire, the shotgun trick, uh, the the whole spinny, that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, without these, the run would have been much slower, and probably much more boring. But now it's, well, there is a bit more skill involved in this. Um, and while we're running around the sewers, uh, maybe Bowie can tell us something about the charity or the prices or... Whatever he has on his mind. Absolutely, yeah. I'd, be, I'd, love, I'd love to talk about the charity. Obviously, like the reason we are here is to support Save the Children. Um, you know, the, uh, this charity believes that every child deserves a future. They work around the world um, and every day to give children a healthy start in life, the opportunity to learn, and most importantly, protection from harm. When crisis strikes and children are most vulnerable, they're always the, uh, the first to respond and the last to leave. So they do whatever it takes for, for uh, children every day and, of course, in times of crisis like now, transforming their lives and the future that we all share together. Um, you know, in, in the first 100 days of war, um, Save the Children reached uh, 210,000 people, out of which uh, 122,000 of those were children. Um, they've ensured that 120,000 children and their families have received psychological and safeguarding support. And they've ensured that 80,000 children children and their families receive food, cash and other things to ensure that they have those basic needs in, in life. Um, and, and I guess as like a further incentive for those don donations, you know, we're, we're talking about, you know, things like, you know, the prizes that, that you guys, these guys can win at, at home. But, you know, remember that, for example, you know, if, you, if you're looking to, you know, get in with the chance of winning a retro tank or a Nintendo Switch, which is $50, that $50 also keeps 10 out of school children from going hungry during a pandemic. So that's obviously a huge, a huge deal. Um, you know, and $50 can you know, also pay for the attendance of an entire village school in a country like Uganda, um, including the cost of teacher training and salaries, supplies and curriculum. So you'd be helping children all over the world, you know, um, you know eat and learn. So, um, you know, those, those, those don donations are obviously great for, you know, you know being in, in with a chance to win something. But, you know, there's a material difference that's being made from those... Uh, don't don't donation. So of course, thank you to everyone who has donated thus far. And uh, if you do want to don't donate, links to donate are found below the below the stream. Um, and know that it's it's a great cause that you are donating towards. We're so close to 220k as well. Um, so if you're enjoying the run right now and you really want to support Tesoro, um, now would be a hugely great time for a donation as we as we uh, zone in on that 20k mark. Let's go. Yep. So this, yeah, this this level is probably one of the more boring ones. Uh, That's also the reason I don't like chapter. The whole chapter four is kind of uneventful. There is this level which is extremely boring. There is next level which has extremely tight jumps, and then the boss level is just. Well, the boss level is fine. Okay. So yeah, from now on we're gonna be using rocket launcher more often. So uh, screen shaking every now and then can't do much about it. Also, sometimes I can't anticipate where enemies are because they move a bit randomly, so I will start pre-firing where I think there should be, but then I'm, I'm gonna look at uh, if I'm getting health. So yeah, uh, any kill grants you health. Any kill with your feet, like with the kicking, sliding, that grants you twice that amount. That's why kicking the boss in 3-3 uh, gave me... 200 health and practically did a full refill. But yeah, this level is all about jumping the beams and it's very exciting, especially the later part. Because here you don't have to jump the beams, but in, a, in the second part of the level you have to do it and the beams are smaller and there is a key at the end of beams section. And if you fall you essentially have to redo it, well, unless you save. In ALs you can't save, and doing it that section this fast is, is awful. I hate that level, for that reason. But pre-firing, bam, bam, bam. Oh, come on. Oh no, there is nothing here. Here though, yeah, okay. But yeah, a lot of things are... 
about remembering where enemies are, what the enemies are, how many shots they need, and then just, uh, you know, managing your ammo, looking after it, because getting refills with big heal is not guaranteed. Just knowing some damage values, because sometimes it can drop to like 20, 30 and be just fine. But in later levels, especially in like the final chapter, like there are enemies that do like 40 damage per shot and uh, you don't want to run into them while having like a 37 or something. Now. It's my way or hell, it's my way. What's your favorite Duke quote? Duke quote? Hmm. Gotta be something from 3D, likely. Yeah, obviously. Um, let me think. There's uh, gotta be the infamous. I'm here, here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Oh yeah. And I'm all out of the gum. Yeah, Classic. that's that's episode three, starting level. Yeah. Quote. But. Uh, I really remembering hunger in quotes because they. For some reason, made a Hungarian dub for the game. It was horrible, but I remember that. Most, most I, times. I want to see that now. <laughs> Maybe I should set it up for the run. I just should, just should make it a donation and send it. Or, or that, yeah. So yeah, there is that blue key on the other set of beams. I have a lot of explosions now. I, I know what my favorite is, it's coming later, in chapter 8. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember now. So, nobody steals our chicks and lives. Oh yeah, that's, that's, good that's episode that. 2. Dark. I like the, the non-Duke quotes, like the meme ones from Gianni. I need context to understand the joke. Things like that. Uh, a lot of good Duke memes. Shoutouts to Kino Fabino and Gianni. You think they'd learn? Uh, good thing I just quick saved, literally just now, because otherwise I would need to be doing the jumps there. These one-liners kind of started a genre in build engine games too, like Caleb and. In blood, making mm. so much quotes. Oh yeah, blood is also very quotable. I, g I guess the only one I don't remember much is Shadow Warrior because that's the one I haven't played much. I played blood a lot. I played Duke 3D a lot, so I can't remember that. But sadly, I missed blood back in the day. But yeah, it's blood was too scary for me. Oh yeah, oh, there were ghosts. On only ghosts in hands. I'm, I'm not sure what it was, I guess I never understood how to shake off the hand when it starts choking you in blood. So, I, I was playing with the cheats as a kid, because the game was too scary. And then it would start choking you and the screen would go black, and I just didn't know what to do. In early versions, I think they got uh, bugged. Like, you couldn't even shake it off. Oh, yeah. It got patched. Also, have you heard about the Duke movie they're gonna make? Yeah. Must be around here somewhere. Not sure how they're gonna make it, yeah. but I'm sure. I'm up, I'm up for, for some memes. Real curious about the story they're gonna make. Just just follow Duke Nukem forever storyline. That's gonna work just fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, that's silly enough. I go where I please. I just want a full release of 2001 go. build, like actual game, on that engine. But that would be a fun made one, hopefully one day. Right. Got easy double Something damage here. here. That's the bug queen. Two two phases again. First phase is glitchable. Uh, you can just do this, kind of slide into her infinitely. She just kind of dies. Now for the for the second phase, she's gonna be following the train, and uh, you just gotta throw pipe bombs on her whenever you can. 
just in time. They switch the shotgun. Not sure. Maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, just do shotgun trick for the first one. Because throwing five bombs there is a bit too slow. Ah! What? Yeah. I I agree, Duke. Should wait a bit more, I guess. Again, it didn't work. That's the the old strat is to show to throw, to shoot her with rockets, but there we go. Alright, got her. Uh, so I'm gonna get a full ammo refill, which is really good. Generally, it's very easy to get it here, but I've been messing it up every now and then. End of the line. Last up. Total destruction. It's clobbering time. No token, no right. So chapter five. Many people don't like it. It's kind of out of out of place. It almost looks like a final dungeon, but it, it kind of isn't. The gimmicks are insta-kill cycles. A robot start appearing here, actually. Well, one robot was in Four Dash Two. You didn't see it, but I blew it up off-screen. With but in this chapter, they actually start appearing fairly often. I'm gonna do this safely. Because for some reasons, when you like, I could jump from the edge of screen and just uh, grab like in the middle of that railing of the pipe. Uh, but sometimes Duke would just randomly let go. I don't know why. And then you start level from the very beginning. So now we're gonna be getting our last weapon, which is called uh, the pulse cannon, I believe. It uh, does a very good damage, it's gonna be our alternative when we're out of bullets. And it's gonna be also important for the final boss. And well, for some other bosses. But it does, its projectiles are actually going all the way through the screen. So I can just pre-fire infinitely far when I need to. My gun's bigger than yours. No! Funny how you get one health for, you know, tiny bugs on the floor. But yeah, if they, if, if all these tiny animals, like lizards, bugs and such on the floor, get hit by Glob, they will mutate into a proper enemy. Hmm, no lights. Must be part of Morphix's energy conservation plan. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, not a huge fan of that level as well, I guess. It's it's not the worst, it's just kind of me. Next level is weird. Well this entire chapter is kind of odd. I d I don't I don't have like a good place for it in my oof, that was that was close. In my top chapter tier list. It's probably one of my least favorite. But I also can't hate it practically for anything specific. Well, there is one thing in second in next level, which I really, really hate. And it's kind of obscure that they put that in a game at all. You'll see when I get there. Or you might know if you played the game. Okay, I killed both pigs. That's really good. So previously, uh, as you can see, I'm almost not using uh, uh, machine gun, which is number four. Uh, there are a few occasions where it's better to use than pistol, but pistol just does more damage uh, than shot uh, than uh, than this thing. But uh, the machine gun has a spread. Uh, so in a very few cases, when you need to hit the camera, which is just ever so ever so above your field of view. Like build of kidding enemies, whatever that would be. Uh, you would use machine gun, but all the other time you use one free combo. 
killing enemies. Gotta find the exit now. Oh, 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 oh. A Duke Flex moment coming up. I get the pistol. Here it goes. Just training himself in the field. I like the ants actually moving. He's unfazed though. It's like a Duke Depot's. <laughs> yeah. It's like j just Surge domination in his own way. Uh, Alright, 5-2. Uh, so, there is a bridge on top. Like that, that railing over there is a bridge. But it's closed, so we need to open the entire thing. Oh, whoops. It was a robot, I think. So you need to extend it. Uh, there are three buttons for some reason. Rest in pieces. You don't need all three to in order to make it on the other side of a bridge. And it's not like a difficult jump, so if you extend it only two times, you can make over just fine. For some reason there are three buttons. There is also a very small skip, which I might try to, to do. Also, this is a very explosive situation here. There is a lot of big cops there. Including uh, tier 3 big cops, which take three rockets or something. But this section is fairly notorious. Uh, because of how tight the jump here is. The second one. First one is kind of okay. Yeah, so puzzles. Very cool. Oh, whoops. That's why I put the quick save there. Okay. That was actually not too bad. Second try and I only died on the first thing. Which I shouldn't even die yet. A very annoying part in AL, again. In AL so many things are annoying. <laughs> But then it's also satisfying when you get the result that you want. Just such, such, such a good, nice run. Just you really look at it and it's super clean. That's why I like ILs, personally. Did I make it? Yeah, I made it. Okay, cool. So once the cutscene starts, you lose control of a duke. So you can't really curse correct you falling. Uh, but you can hit that platform which is below you, which saves a bit, just like a couple seconds. But it makes you... The elevator is still moving, so it gets you into the thing. So this button opens the force field, which allows you to extend bridge for a time. I don't need that. Uh, there is a skip, which you can do. I'll go for it, even if I waste a whole bunch of time there. Um, but that skip allows you to get to the bridge earlier, but only if you do it like first try. And you're kind of even if you do it second try. It's really odd and gimmicky. But let's see how it goes. Not too good. Alright. That's fine. So there is like a trigger that just uh, teleports you to a bridge for reasons. Otherwise you need to go like down, down the... Oh, I should have uh, pre-fired with the pulse cannon, or oh, whatever. The bug is probably gonna move away. Try not to take too much damage, but again, you don't have to, like, when I started running this uh, game, actually a long time ago, in 2007 probably, 
uh, obviously back then. I didn't know anything about speedrunning, I just had a concept of, oh, this level, this game has a time at the end of it, at, uh, at, at the end of each level, I might as well try recording it. And I was recording with fraps, I didn't know how to turn off the audio, so whenever somebody would walk into my room, I would essentially mess up my recording because there's like, like people talking to me. Uh, I was really annoyed with that. I get damaged three times here. And I was rushing through that area, but you actually don't have to because you perfectly align for that cycle if you if you don't. Normally what you're supposed to do there, I guess, is not go back through the same glob uh, area, but rather go through the insta-kill tunnel with a lot of spikes in there. It's really tricky to get through. Don't looking for 100% runs of this game. I mean, I hope Universal does it. There you go, buddy. But yeah, I myself... There are a few levels which just make me not want to play this 100%. All the robotic anim uh, enemies, so uh, cameras, well cameras always blow up, but it doesn't matter. Like the, the robot girls, uh, the machines, uh, they blow up if you do too much damage after they died. I wanted, I, want, I just wanted that camera to move. So you, when you fire a glob at them, uh, then too much that they will blow up. Alright, this jump is a big meme. So it, it shouldn't be possible, but it just is. What you're supposed to do here is like actually go around the level on the right. It's not easy, it's very tight. I could do this all day. Oh yeah I can Duke. Okay, not too bad. And then you can get a cutscene skip here sometimes and you can move during this cutscene. Which, which is what Hard IL does, which I don't know how many attempts it took Universal because I only got that once in all the time running this level. But yeah, while I'm traveling to the boss, uh, it would be... Oh, what? Go away. What? Jesus. Alright, while I'm traveling to the boss, it would be good time for any messages or maybe donations if we have any. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much indeed. We have a, uh, a $100 donation from Mads VG. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep in theme with the game here. Um, donating for a great cause. Let's get over 20k. Um, thank you so much indeed. Uh, if you do, I, I'm thinking like for, like for donations during the Duke run, if we can try and get some like schlocky kind of 90s badass quotes to read in, yeah, Duke's, just, in Duke's voice, that'd be great. Yeah, don <laughs> d d donate things and specify. Can, 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 do you know Caleb from Blood? Oh, wait, I don't know. Uh, if you knew him, then we could do like a donation train. But you specify is, if you read as Duke or as Caleb. Ah, uh, sorry, off the top of my head. Alright, let's, let's just let's just voice. do Duke. Yeah, yeah, d let's do Duke. Let's get some Duke quotes in. Keep keep it TOS friendly. <laughs> but yeah. We'll take care of you once and for all. So this boss, I'm gonna refire some pulse cannon. Alright, that was just just enough. So you cannot kill it with full ammo with a shotgun trick on hard. It's just not feasible. But if you do, you know, pre-fire it uh, with pulse cannon or rockets, get inside then around a very specific amount of health, which I'm not sure what it is. I just shoot a bit and then I do the, the shotgun trick. One, two, and then it's just enough. But yeah, from now on, all the enemies are not dying from... All the bosses are not dying from shotgun trick. Period. And there aren't many bosses left, so this is chapter 6. Uh, boss here is an annoying fly, uh, which is quite a pain. And it would be really good if I could get to 400 health after killing it, which is really hard to do, by the way. Ow. Got, got double damage. But yeah. Th this is the longest level outside of, you know, the helicopter level. Uh, which is also, like, has a lot of things going on. But 
you can mess up in the latest part of this level fairly easily uh, because it's uh, an ice section. Ev everyone loves ice sections. The only thing that this game doesn't have is uh, water levels, which is a good thing, I guess. But it has ice sections, it has... Oh! Blizzard fell into water in the LEGO City. There, sh there was supposed to be a lizard, but I guess it, it just does drop into a water sometimes. Good. So these flies, they take extremely little damage to, to kill, but they also do extremely large amount of damage, like 25 or something. And they throw like three glob shots, so practically impossible to dodge. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Big oopsies. This is one of the few levels which isn't fully optimized as IL because of how many things can and will go wrong here. There's just so many enemies in your way. Most of them, you know, can get in a very, very weird spot. Essentially, especially in in the next session, two sections of a ship. That was fairly fast outside section. Bird crap in the morning. Can estimate it by by the audio looping because there's like a so the much for the red pack. audio whatever in, in in the song. So the music is fairly repetitive, but it isn't terrible. I would say it could, could could be could be better, I guess, but just fine as an ambient in a way. But here I'm gonna actually use machine gun because fly can be. Can be high, but I just did shoot shotgun twice for some reason. All right, so that that lizard at the bottom, which kind of memed me, was one of those things I was talking about in this level. I think that might have killed... No, it didn't. Oh, no, it did. What gave me 10 health? Someone blew up. Duke 3D has kind of a bit more variety for music, but too bad I'm kind of skipping all of them by 5 second levels. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, like, clip everywhere. Yeah. The build engine things. The best thing ever. Yeah. Can you clip in Duke 3D uh, yeah, in like the in the re release the versions? Like uh, in Megaton Edition and such? Like clip where? All the like the way you like clip through the walls and so or do or do you not clip in Duke? You only yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. Well, well, uh, you can't really go out of bounds, but mostly can clip all the doors missing link. On and taking damage. Right. Oh, that's bad. Not supposed to pull there. Oh, you can double jump there? Keep getting that. So yeah, there are ice physics on these crates, so I'm sliding. Not a huge fan of that. I gotta break a boom handle off in your ass. Okay. Fine, we'll do. We'll have to do. Gotta find the exit now. Oh yeah, this game only gets harder as it goes on. Chapter 7 and 8 are fairly brutal in terms of speedrun. Uh, there is a skip which we currently don't do in full game run Incoming. in Chapter 7, which saves like half a minute, but it's extremely inconsistent because it relies on AI manip with pipe bombs. And even then, once you manipulate it, like the cameras, you need to do some very janky things, which is very, very hard to do. Well, there is a potential 37 second time save in this run, but it's just get it or, or not. 
Alright, time to go shaky again. I'm okay. I'm definitely not getting 400 health on the boss. No, actually, no, I might. Alright, you can also charge Pulse Cannon. Which then does this. Very useful. Oh, I'm, I might die here. Can that, can that stuff disappear? Right. That's fine. Time for one hit KO runs. Yeah. All, all, all the health I... You actually can... I believe you can... Uh, no damage almost the entire game. I'm just not sure if you can. No damage. Oh, whoops. That's bad. Where do I restart? Yo, really oh, off. that's really far. Okay, I'll quick save next time. Yeah, I'm not used to being such a low health here. As far as I kill... Stop doing this. Okay. So, I threw a pipe bomb for a reason there. There was an AI That's in it, but that kind of backfired terribly. I'm gonna quick save after I kill the big cop. Here. I hate right now, I can charge full scan because this big cop now moved away. Right, that's fine. Nothing bad can happen in this level anymore. Just the first section is kind of tight. Take the ammo. Just taking a bit extra ammo. Also in the full game run, you try to collect all the extra health that you can. There's a very convenient 100 health lying there. I did pick it up. I'm probably also gonna pick up that 10 on the left just to try to get to 400 after boss. You kill boss with, with, with a feat, but it does a lot of damage, and the, the amount of damage that you take on the level, on next level, is kind of random, I would say. So, how do you like my gun? a bit slower when we would just run into that thing take like 30 damage uh, also rats throw random bombs uh, they have much for the red they have a normal explosive bomb uh, they have a fire bomb they have like a grenade which explodes on a when it touches you and they have like a spinning shooting bomb which does a lot of damage if you're in a very close proximity. I believe depending on like a rat type, uh, they they have different amount of bombs. Like the easiest one has like the fire and the explosive one, and then uh, everyone else has the, the shooty one. Oh, I need ammo. Right. Our next section is very satisfying. It's as if it was designed for rapid fire. Very good. Insane leg bird. <laughs> uh, what is it now? Oh, 8 dash string. Okay, a boss level. This is a very cool level. It's probably one of my favorites. It's just, you know, one big cube. Who needs a fly 
nice water. But it's it's very nice. Uh, I want I want that thing to. Can you can you can you please? Yeah, thanks. I don't think that's gonna hit the barrel. It was kind of far. Uh, so optimally, you want that you want that fly to hit the barrel and explode it, because once it blows up, uh, the door on the other side of the elevator shaft is starting opening. Oh, never seen it climb out here. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting for 400 health, but whatever. And it kind of takes time, but if it blow, blows up earlier, then you can drop down and kill the pickup on the other side. Just small optimizations that this level has. Killing this guy because he can block me. He can like stand in a corner and then just not let you go through. It's very annoying. Refire the pulse cannon and off to the boss we go. So yeah, I'm not. There is no way I'm getting 400 health. I can wait for half a minute because the way next arena works, it kind of starts flooding, so you don't have infinite time to kill the boss. Kind of have like. A minute, casually, uh, and if you like wait too long, it starts flooding uh, the level. And if it floods too much, you just kind of die and start charging. Hopefully, all the barrels got destroyed. So this pulls charge. Uh, all right. You're going down faster than the XFL. I'm gonna save my pulse cannon for myself for next level. Because I don't have any shot uh, any shotgun ammo. I obviously cannot uh, use rapid fire here, which would be really useful. Finishing this level with 400 health is is really good. But otherwise, yeah, this will have to do. But you get refill fairly quickly, so that that. It's not a big deal, and I have a good enough health. So, can be a good time for donations if we have any. Uh, well, I mean, we, we're, we're waiting for it. There's a few few have been coming through on both stream one and stream two, so we've been closing in on that uh, 20,000. We're now up, up, up to 19,877, so only 123 away from that 20k. So, I, 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 as I said, I definitely want to see it before the end of this run. So. Uh, if you can make that happen, that'd be awesome. Uh, just to remind, remind you as well that 100% of our proceeds will go to save the children, who in turn will use that money to help save and improve children's lives around the world. This includes donations, Twitch subscriptions, cheers, and any ESA merch. So anything that you uh, you uh, do to help give towards the um, the charity during the event will 100% go to save the children. So uh, yeah, let's hit that 20k. Let's go. Yeah, I messed up big time there. Fortunately, there was no checkpoint. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. But I kind of forgot that I need to jump. And I kind of just fell into my demise. Um, being low on ammo in this level is a bit annoying. Just having absolutely full ammo would be very, very beneficial. Because this section has a lot of enemies. Might I, might I also jump jump in again real quick? <laughs> yep. We got a couple of donations that did just come through. Um, my, uh, I was a little bit low, slow on my, on my system here. We have a ten dollar donation from um, An oh, excuse me, Anna that just says, "I came here to donate and watch speedruns." You did indeed. Thank you so much indeed for that tenner. And another tenner from Nordic Soy. I'm here to raise money and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Let's make Argic wear that cursed outfit so he can also say, "Damn, I'm looking good." Thank you very much indeed for those donations. Dance for me, baby. Thank you. Yeah, that, that camera that I had to kill there is very annoying. Um, it can block you very often in very many places. Can you? I didn't kill the pickup for some reason, but it's not a big deal. Alright. Might be okay. 
kind of fine. I gotta break a broom handle off in your ass. Gonna get myself a bit of an ammo here. That's the fifth one. Saving ammo a bit, playing it safer than I should be. To the pulse cannon. Gonna be a rat here. Gonna throw a pipe bomb now that's gonna attract this lady. She'll run towards me. I won't have to run towards her. Because I'm afraid approaching women. <clears throat> So now we're gonna go into 7-2. I will need to concentrate, then I'll explain what's going on after that. It's clobbering time. What are you doing? Okay. Just gonna kick everyone just with a bit more help. Alright, that's fine. So I'm gonna concentrate for this one. I'm making it though. I had a checkpoint here. So close. I just didn't double jump there. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Guess I can explain it now. So these things, they move on a cycle. But for some reason, in the middle of a cycle, they kind of don't do damage. Or for some reason. So you can kind of run through the. That's why you run through the first one. Now I'm perfectly aligned with these cycles. Should be at the very least. Yeah, good. I was very slow there with killing. Do this all day. Oh, okay. slow. Should be fine. Yep. And uh, yeah, let's by by like getting in a first drill. Right before it starts doing damage. Right, gonna jump that camera. Uh, you skip that cycle and then you kind of align with everything else. This section is just trigger happy. But a bit low on health. Which is not too big of a deal because I'm gonna get a big refill in a moment. Just gotta be a bit on the lookout for what's happening here. Yeah, okay, I'm good. It's a shame I died later in the cycle, but whatever. So this is... And this level has a skip which allows to save additional half a minute uh, by manipulating cameras and then getting a very weird movement. Should be just in cycle for this one as well. Yeah. So many baits. So you, you could blow up that barrel from the bottom, and then the only thing you need is like to get into the window, which is too high for you to double jump to. But you get cameras moving down, and then you kind of do a very weird movement which allows you to land on the camera and jump off the camera, allowing you to just go to the, straight to the girl. Nice jump, just, you know, just works. Alright. Throw a pipe bomb, which should blow up both cameras, but sometimes you just miss it. And you either, you know, take the explosions or... Uh, or kill them, or slide under them. And I'll move that big cop down, because otherwise it's annoying to move around this him. This is why I have games named after me. A 
This level itself isn't too difficult. Uh, it's more uh, getting enough health for the boss quick kill. This boss has a cutscene, which we can skip. Uh, but for that we need double damage. Well, actually we don't need double damage to skip a cutscene, but to kill the boss quickly we need full uh, shotgun ammo, or uh, bullets, the first ammo type, and then uh, just do the shotgun trick just outside of cutscene. It's kind of really hard to do, we need double damage for it as I said, and you can... Uh, you get 100 health right before the boss, so we need 150 before that. And it's very easy to lose that health. Should be fine in a full game run because I pick up a bit extra health packs to account for all the possible goofs. We'll see how that goes. Oh, whoops. Don't do that. Pick up a bit extra. Make a quick save here, just to <laughs> kind of get stuck in a. In a... Well, I'm really pissed off. Uh, that's bad. I don't want that. I don't want that. Go away. So yeah, you can kind of get, get getting stuck in the wrong, uh, what's that, projection? <laughs> so you can kind of jump out of the elevator if you are not uh, paying attention. So don't do that. I just did it for the memes. Here I'm gonna kill all the big cops. Get all the extra health I can here. And switch to Pulse Cannon because there are three enemies in here. Hopefully none of them runs towards me. Yeah, that's all good. It's time. And got 400. Still lost all my ammo somehow. Like oh, whatever. Heart. I have Glob. I can kind of go into a cutscene there. And then the boss will start face. talking at the same time. Well, I've got a special package. You can also apparently soft block here after killing a boss like this, which is very weird. But yeah, that was fairly good level. All right, my favorite Duke quote coming up. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Duke Nukem. My continued mission is to explore strange new babes, to seek out new aliens and kick their asses. That's the one. It's pretty long as well. When you restart the level, he always starts with that. Space, the final frontier. But yeah, this uh, having too much ammo in this level isn't really important, as uh, you will lose all your ammo, all your weapons rather. You're beautiful when you're dying. But I want to have hell uh, ammo just for this section, so that I can kill enemies which are in front. And next level is actually the hardest level in the run. You can also get crushed by these things fairly easily. Gotta be careful here. Oh, this is bad! Oh no! Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that way I might go over it. That should be fine so far. So far, so good. At least you can hear the quote. Yeah, you can hear the quote again. I did that for, for that specifically. Just a quick save next time. There is no Duke, uh, Duke game without uh, space level. Oh, is there a space in Forever? I think so. In, in, in DLC there is. Oh, I only played it once. That was enough. I'm sure there is in 1 and 2. In 1 and 2, yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. That's where the checkpoint was. Nice. I'm collecting all the unlucky, unlikely deaths. Just 
playing badly. Do you mind if I uh, quickly interrupt? Yeah. Just because I want to say that we have reached twenty thousand dollars. Thank you very much indeed. The uh, a couple of the donations that made it there was a seventy-five dollar anonymous donation with no comments. Thank you very much, and a one hundred and twenty-three dollar donation from Stick Dude Games that says, "I hate pigs, but I love donations. Save the children." Thank you very much indeed for those lovely donations. We made it to 20k. That's awesome of you. Thanks so much indeed. Thank you all. Good. So this section, we don't know if it's possible to skip it. Would be very good. Would save a minute in a run if we could just skip that getting stuck there. But that thing essentially takes all your ammo from you. But yeah. Since I got double damage, it's just I have just enough time to reach the key force field. Uh, to destroy it. Normally you should like get this your ammo. That's what I, I guess that's what they thought you want to do is get your weapons back and then do destroy the force field. But I'm just gonna I'm just kind of kicking it twice and it's fine. It's because Duke is that awesome. Just can kick kick force fields out. So funny thing, uh, the old easy any percent run by King Mamba. Uh, used to not get your weapons back. It's more more feasible on easy difficulty than it is on hard. Uh, but with the new boss strats, it's just not feasible even on easy. Pick up the extra health here. Yeah, he was just essentially doing the final block of the game with pistol and grenades only, which is cool. I mean, it's quite entertaining. I was playing around with that idea in. In, in hard, but it just... it doesn't fly. I'm gonna spin to not stumble. Alright, that went, that went well. It, it, I'm just gonna climb down. <laughs> Alright, uh, beginning of 8-2. I'm gonna concentrate again. Uh, it's a very important cycle. If I don't hit it, I just restart the level. No more fun. Sorry. Uh, restart. No going back. You're gonna like this. Rest in pieces. Okay, this seems okay. So you gotta make this first jump and this first corridor practically without stopping, without hitting anything. Because oh, also I, like, I kind of sequence broke. This is lap two. You're supposed to go through five laps here. The the first one is on the left bottom. Not not gonna go there. You can just kind of go out of bounds and enter second one straight away. Quick save here. Just yeah, that's fine. So it's all done to reach that that platform that I'm riding right now. If you don't hit it, you kind of off the cycle for everything in the level, and then you just waste a whole bunch of time around the minute. So sometimes it's faster to just restart the level than included. trying to maybe hit it. This camera I'm not going to attract. I'm just gonna jump it. Alright, so now we're just gonna go through. Each lab opens next one. We never opened second, but we just entered it anyway. So we can just go to 3, 4, 5. 5 is the one that has the key. And 4 is the one that has the babe. Well, almost. It's an explosive camera. We're gonna use pulse cannons, infinite range here, to destroy the robot. Also, these platforms are very janky. If you try jumping on them while they go down, you will lose a jump. Same with when they go up. So you kind of have to wait until they stopped completely. And only then jump. Alright, gotta hit the cycle this again. Why I have games named after me. Can slow down a bit. I might miss me a cycle, I don't know. I have no ammo, that's actually concerning. I'll not, not really, I'll just have to play this last part of that level slowly. Oh yeah, this thing gives you ammo. 
Bullets aren't really useful in this level though, every, every enemy you need to fight is out on the screen and pre-fires you as well. Then a quick save here, just in case I cannot actually make this cycle, so then I'll just wait there. Oh uh, no, I'm making it. Okay, that's good. That's the final lab now. So, if there is anything to talk about Bowie, uh, you have around a minute, maybe less. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously we hit that that 20k, but let's not stop there. Um, every single donation that is given during ESA Summer 2022 will go towards Save, save the Children. Um, a very, very important uh, cause that uh, helps protect children around around, around the world um, at any time, but uh, most important, importantly, during times of crisis. Um, so, uh, you know... Um, one in five chil chil children across the globe live in a conflict zone. Um, so let's do, some do something together to change their lives for the better by donating to save the children and their cause to ensure that children's rights are protected even in times of war. And keep kicking ass. Speaking of kicking ass, next room will kick my ass likely very, very hard. The hardest room in the entire game. Because it's on the cycle, it's with the insta-kill mechanic, and it's with the robots that do quite a lot of damage, 40 to be precise. So if I'm off... Th and, and the turrets that can block me for no reason. Uh, so let's see how that goes. So these things, the spinny ones, are an insta-kill. Looks like I'm on candid camera. You gotta be extra careful. If one of these cameras goes too far close to me, I cannot drop down. Just like here. Okay. I'll just wait for it to kill me. Yeah. I can do this all day. That's gonna leave a mark. Ah! Okay, that's fine now. Hmm, so there is life after death. Okay, I'll have to die again. Yeah, this room can just screw you over. So there is life after death. Okay, that's fine. And that didn't hit me. And these cameras won't reach me. It's only one that activates. Alright, hardest level out of the way. Now it's the final level with the boss fight. I sh should be making it into estimate, maybe, potentially, if I don't screw up. I kind of was before before that tunnel, but no, I'm not so sure. So, final boss is gonna be very... I'm just gonna say it. Uh, it's gonna be very uneventful. Ow. That's bad. Now I'm really pissed off. Okay. I'm not making it into Estimate, by the way. <laughs> ah, okay. Should have just killed the robot. Oh, come on, just... Just kill me. <sighs> this, this room isn't as hard as you might think. It's actually fairly easy, but... Whatever. That's what I should have done the very first time. Mm, I don't have much glop. <coughs> but you have to go fast, so... You have yeah. to drive. Yeah, I needed to. Alright, this room is kind of, kind of a meme. Save here. Die, bitch. Okay. Okay, that was smooth. Just gonna not get blocked by a robot now. Okay, that's perfect. He was completely unaware of me. Still didn't notice me, by the way. Just need to not hit 250 Sorry, health I got some earlier. To do first. I have way too much health, potentially. 
Now I have. Now I have fine. That's fine health. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, that's okay. Grab. Such an awkward jumps. This entire level is like kind of awkward to jump around. Yeah, I'm, I'm just ever so slightly overestimate. Probably if Looks I didn't like mess up that last section a couple times. Because this, this part is actually more difficult where you get the key and the babe. I messed up in the beginning. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so epic boss fight coming up. You won't even see the boss. You, well, you can kind of see it standing there. It's, it's parts. Oh shit. Oh no. I need to die. Uh, how do I die? I need 250 health. I need double damage. Some t technical issues. Can I make it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude! I can make it, I'm pretty sure I can. If I can't, well, so be it. Oh, uh, actually, if you collected all the nukes before this part, uh, you would be able to go fight Secret Boss here. Son of a bitch. Come on. Let's go. Okay, it's saved. Time. Uh, boss is there, trust me. Yeah, some things went badly in this run. I had a few very bad checkpoints with no quick save. Where I shouldn't even die to be honest, but I did. Uh, well, sorry for that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the run though. Well, you can kind of see the boss here. Boss is actually three phases and we skipped two of them by just killing it like this. And well, you just kind of escaping. So to not hold it any longer. Hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, thanks Del Sectus for, the, for joining me. Thank you for having me and expanding my Duke knowledge. Yeah, thanks Bowie for, for the donation reading and things. And I guess we can move to our next run. Indeed, indeed. Thank you very much indeed for that great run. It was good fun, fun to watch and some classic lines being rolled around. Um, we're going to take just a short break. And, uh, and when we come back, we're going to have Mega Man Unlimited by BTFM. The only thing unlimited about Mega Man is, is the amount of ass he can kick. We'll see you soon. Take care.